Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, I will show you how to render a 3D model with wireframes in Substance Painter, like this. So let's get started. At first, we need to export the UV maps from Autodesk Maya. For this model, I have used separate materials for all the iron parts, and separate material for all the wood parts. Now to select all the iron parts and all the wood parts separately, go to Windows, Rendering Editors, then Hypershade. Here, you can see there are two different materials, one is metal and another is wood. Select the metal material, right-click and choose, select objects with material. This will select all the parts that are assigned with this material. Now go to UV, then choose UV Editor. Now, we have to export this UV map. For this, either go to Image and select UV Snapshot, or you can select this icon to open UV Snapshot options. Now then, select the destination where you want to export the UV map. Rename it as per your choice, and select Save. Choose PNG for the image format, and keep the edge color as white. Then apply and close. Similarly, I will export the UV maps for all the wood parts. Here I will change the resolution from 2K to 4K. Similarly I will change the resolution for the metal parts as well, and overwrite the previously exported maps. Now then, we have exported all the UV maps from Autodesk Maya. Let's jump into Substance Painter and see how to apply these maps in the model. So here we are in Substance Painter. To apply the UV maps here, we need to add an emissive channel. So go to Texture Set Settings, click on this plus icon, and select Emissive from here. Now then, add a fill layer and then turn off all the channels except Emissive Channel. Now, from Shelf, choose Textures. Then go to the folder where you have exported out the UV maps. Select both of them, and drop it in the Substance Painter. Select both of them, and then set them as Texture. And then import them to the current session. So you can see, there are two different layers in the Texture Set list, this is because I applied two different materials in Autodesk Maya. Since the metal layer is selected, drag and drop the metal UV map into the emissive channel, and you will see the wireframes in your model on top of the texture created. Similarly, select the wood layer, then add a fill layer on top, and then turn off all the channels except the emissive channel, then drag and drop the wood UV map into the emissive channel. Now go to Render tab, and you will see the wireframes in your model. Now, change the render settings as per your choice, and set the time for render, and then save your image. If you want different color for the wireframe, go to Autodesk Maya, and export the UV maps by changing their colors. I will apply two different colors for the metal and wood parts. In this way you can present your model with different wireframe colors. Now, again import the new UV maps in the Substance Painter. Now then, add a fill layer over here, and this time, I will turn off all the channels except emissive and color channel. Now drag and drop the new UV map into the emissive channel. And I will keep the color gray with a value of 0.3. And then turn off all these texture layers. Now press Ctrl C to copy the layer, 
then choose the wood layer from texture set list, turn off the other layer, then press Ctrl V to paste the layer over here. Now drag and drop the new UV map into the emissive layer. Now go to render tab, and you will see the blue and red wireframes are applied in the model on top of the plain gray material. Now change the rendering settings as per your choice, then set the time to render, and after that save the render image. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.